Hey, what is up guys? I hope you guys are doing well. I'm doing great. We just got out of church probably about an hour ago. We're in the process of getting the kids ready to take them over to Washington, just literally right over the bridge to the monster truck show. There's a monster truck show that comes into town about once a year. Our two oldest boys are really big into that. But in the meantime, I'm upstairs trying to knock out a couple of things. So when I get back, there's not a whole lot for me to do to get prepared for the week. Alrighty guys, so here are some items that need to be shipped out. We got a pair of these Adidas cleats right here. I bought these from Ross back when they had like a big cheap cleat. This kind of thing, these were $2.99. They end up selling for like $35. This is just a pair of Columbia pants right here, a Goodwill special. And I believe these right here sold for $25 and probably paid maybe 50 cents for them. Here is a Nike on field Cincinnati Bengals hoodie. It's a size large. And I picked this up from the Goodwill outlet probably like two months ago and have just sat on it for a while. It finally ended up selling for 40 and it's a little bit on a heavier size. So probably spent like $1.50 to $2.50 for it. And here is a Lululemon tank. I think I showcased this in one of the, my Goodwill outlet hauls. Bought it from the bins. Probably spent 50 cents on it. It ended up selling for like 20. And here are a lot of Adidas track pants for boys in like a black and red colorway and a navy and white colorway. I will sell kids clothes, but the way I do it is when I find kids clothes at the outlet, I throw them to the side until I get like a similar size. And then I'll lot them up in maybe two or three and therefore you can sell them for a decent amount. Like both of these right here ended up selling for 25 altogether. And so, I mean, if you can find this stuff cheap at the bins, you might as well monetize it. It's a Nike hat right here. It's uh, actually new with tags. And I believe this right here sold for 25. Here's a North Face jacket for men's right here. It has like the hood and it is a full zip. I believe it's a man size medium. Picked this up from the Goodwill outlet, probably for like a dollar fifty. It's actually on the lighter side, lighter hoodie, and this ended up selling for almost fifty. And here are, well, here's just a Nike compression padded sports bra for women's. I believe this right here sold for twenty. It's a women's size XL and another Goodwill outlet pickup. This right here is a pair of Under Armour windbreaker pants. They are new with tags. Believe it or not, this one right here actually came from the Goodwill outlet. You find a lot of stuff there with new with tags all the time. And I believe these right here sold for 30, and I probably paid less than a dollar for them. These are pretty light, probably about maybe 12 to 13 ounces. And last but not least, what sold today, this is this Under Armour Cold Gear Fitted long sleeve compression shirts the cold gear long sleeve the more heavy duty ones actually sell for decent amounts this one right here sold for 25 uh, that's with the shipping included and again this is another goodwill outlet pickup Hey, what is up guys? So I'm sitting in the car waiting for the Nike community store to open. We have a lot of these community stores sprinkled throughout Portland. As you guys know, Nike actually started up here. The world headquarters is located in Beaverton, probably about maybe 15 miles up the road. And this location is also in Northeast Portland, which is probably about two miles from the Moda Center where the Blazers play at. This is my first time coming to this location right here. So I'm gonna go in here and check it out. Got these Nike Reacts here at 100, retail at 160. Got the Nike Oprah Max at 160, retail at 220. Got the Nike Monarch AKA Dad Shoes at 50, retail at 70. Got the LeBron 17 Monstars Edition right here. It looks like it's at 100, retail at 220, and these right here would be a perfect buy, but the problem is, is they only have eight sizes. Size 18. 
got the Nike Zoom Freak ones at 90, retail 120. Again, the only sizes they have are those huge ones at size 18. Got the Kyrie Sixes right here at 70, retail at 90. Got the Nike Cosmic Unity at 100, retail at 150. LeBron Witness at 80, retail 100. Got the Mamba Furry, retail at 100 in that black and white colorway. Got the Jordan Why Not, retail at 130. Got the Nike Free Fly Knit at 85, retail 120. Got the Nike LeBron Witness 3 in that black and white colorway, retail at 90, and they got them for 60 here. Looked at the companies don't really sell them for much though. Got these Nike Shocks right here at 110, retail at 160. Got the Nike KD 13 in that Texas Longhorn colorway at 70, retail at 150, and these are actually selling for like 120 online, and I do have a 15% off coupon so I'm thinking about picking these up right here and they do have some decent sizes here a size 8 got these Nike Vapor Knit Damian Lillard jerseys right here these are pretty nice too retail at 110 got a lot of the Nike CJ McCullough jerseys these are pretty nice man size large and they do retail at 110 got the Nike USA tees right here I believe most of these are like a man size small got the Nike LeBron jersey shirt looks like this is a man size XL and looks like it goes for 35 Got these Nike Shield running jackets right here. The Nike patch on the bottom. Alrighty guys, so I just finished up inside of the Nike outlet. They didn't have a ton of selections in there, but they did have a few shoes that to look at and maybe you could take some chances on potentially purchasing. Their employees for the most part were super friendly but sometimes it's just kind of overwhelming like how helpful the employees can be sometimes i normally like to go in kind of get in my zone shop but i mean it seems like every other second somebody was stopping me asking me if i needed help but i guess that's cool i did end up picking up uh, one item i picked up those kd texas longhorn shoes right there i believe the kd 13s in this nice crispy box right here and the size i picked up was the men size eight I grew up in Texas, big Longhorn fan, so the colorway to me is actually pretty nice. The nice logo there on the side. And I picked these up right here for uh, 59 I believe, because I did have a 15% off uh, coupon in there. So these were originally 69 picked them up for 59 you can probably get somewhere between 120 and 140 on these if you just remain patient. There's only one other size 8 listed on eBay. And I, yeah, these right here are size 8. So these right here should be a pretty good seller. Fingers crossed. 